Yes, I think I'm good at this, but I'm never good enough. I'm always looking for ways to improve. You know, for me to improve, I have to keep working. I have to keep finding new elements and more creative ways to kind of step my artwork game up a little bit. So, I mean, always how can I get to the next level? Graph design gives me peace. Creating started for me when I was about three years old. And it started from me building my own Lego city out of Lego blocks. I was also a fan of Hot Wheel cars when I was younger. So I kind of took all those things and put it together and built my own city. That evolved to me, you know, drawing when I was about six. Fast forward to about 17 or 18, I got into graphic design and uh, pretty much learned Photoshop and things like that and took it from there. I tend to overthink, but because a lot of my ideas come from my surroundings, it makes the creative process easier. But every piece I design is inspired by music. So I may be listening to say anything from jazz to R&B to um, instrumental music, and I'll just have all these ideas kind of come to my head at once, and I'll just start creating from that. I always had a thing for like just negative space. Just, you know, looking right at the canvas and having your attention draw right into the middle. So when I seen photographers do the same thing, I'm like, okay, that's dope. Like, how can I incorporate that into graphic art? It makes my artwork more distinctive as well. So that was the main reason why I kept embracing that. I'm like, you know what, I'll just keep doing it. And the more I did it, people became more in love with it. And so did I. I thought about quitting many a times. Specifically back in 2017, you know, I pretty much had nothing going for me at the time except for me just kind of doing my own work and putting things out on Instagram and social media platforms. For me, when I'm going through a rough patch, I focus more on just creating, just being as original and authentic as I could possibly be. Always looking for ways to adjust and create, you know, new milestones for myself. I didn't think I was meant to do this, honestly, and I just kept going and, you know, just kept fighting through it. From crying myself to sleep multiple nights, just multiple doubts from, you know, like suicide doubts, and things like that. For me, it was just keep going and see where it got me, and eventually in, in 2020, that's when kind of things changed for the better. During those dark times, when I'm in those moments of doubt, I always tell myself to keep creating and not focus on the past or the future. I always try to stay present and work on myself to be you know, the best artist I can be and be my authentic self. <laughs>